some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Brunswick, Maine with the wandering hippie and Josh from Accountability for All. Now, Josh had originally uploaded his view of this uh, particular situation months ago, but the wandering hippie just recently uploaded it on his channel, so we're going to take a look at it from his perspective and get a good laugh out of Josh being closed out twice in one day. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Josh AFA, Wandering Hippie. Oh, they will have no problem with this filming because they're under video surveillance 24 hours. Brunswick. Here you go. Welcome. Okay. Okay, now keep in mind that this whole video is about 22 minutes long and only like five to ten minutes at the very most is useful material for any setting so i'm going to be cutting out a lot of this video so it should be no more than 10 15 minutes long at the most for me so let's just go ahead and skip to the uh first interaction that results with a door being slammed in josh's face Fast much too early. Prepare to fast forward. Preparing to fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forwarding, sir. <laughs> Joshy boy, you complete imbecile. The 100 room at Walmart also doesn't say it's a private room, but you're not going to get in there just because they you say you want to get in there. The only reason why a uh, customer would get in there is if they were shoplifting, but it still doesn't say private office. So your overall argument is really quite pathetic and needs some work. But you know what? That's typical of you. you you've got quite a mushy brain that's not capable of comprehending very much or even creating independent thought whatsoever. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. Anybody who's new to my channel must not know who this guy is. But then, allow me to introduce you to him. This big pile of goo is called Josh Abrams, a.k.a. Accountability for All. And he has got to be one of the most ill-mannered frauditors you will ever meet. He is pretty much the love child or uh, what a uh, frauditor would look like if Glenn Serio and uh, Long Island got together. I mean, as big and ugly as uh, Glenn and uh, as condescending as Long Island Audit. How you doing? Hey, how are you? How you good, doing? Man. Hi. Hope you're having a good day. Good. This is a private office. Can you step outside the it's door, It's not please? a private office. It There's is. no signs. There's yeah. no signage. This is my private office, please. No, it's, it's our private office. If you don't leave, I'm going to call the police. I mean, you can. There's no no sign saying it's a private uh, office. I can't be on camera. I'm sorry? I, is this something that is just something that we need to... Is this something? How long has this been a private office? I got to step. I got to step out. Right? Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, I'm going to go. No, you can do I'm your thing, man. Yeah, no worries. It's funny he's saying, you know, you can't come in the office. Like, we haven't even stepped in the office yeah, excuse yet. Me. Excuse me for a second. No, it's a, it's, a, it's a public office. Wow. Oh, poor little guy. Got the door shut in his 
face. Oh, couldn't have happened to a nicer imbecile. Well, well, at any rate, guys, I'm going to go ahead and skip to the next time he gets the door slammed in his face. And then I'm going to call it on this video because I've got better things to do with my time than edit Josh Abrams videos all day. That and really all that's left in this video is that other one because all he does from this point on is whine and complain about the door being shut in his face and them calling the cops or whatever. But the cops never come anyway. Many, many minutes later. Hello. Hello. How are we doing? You guys having a good day? Yeah. Not too bad. I was just wondering, everyone in the town hall seems really nice except the IT guy. So I was wondering... Is he normally really mean? Does he normally slam doors on people's feet? Is that, oh, is really? that or is that just a today thing? You know? Oh, so he slammed the door on your toe. So you did actually put some part of your body into his private office. Gee, I hope they don't have to replace that door for uh, mental trauma having touched your foot. You know? Hmm. You don't even... Try to, oh, was the door... Was the door open when you went Yeah, out? wide open. No oh. signs. I just like your office. And then he, you know, he said that we weren't allowed to film him. And then the other guy in there said we weren't allowed to film him either. And, um, see, we can go in the office. We were just being really nice, just filming kind of like this. And then the other guy came up and slammed the door while that hit me in the foot. So I was wondering if that's a new behavior, but you said you do. So I'm sure that working for a municipality, you know, it's, it doesn't really matter where he's worked before. He works for the public. You know, not working for the public before, I don't really is a, I think, an excuse for him to be. Thanks, man. Oh, uh, yeah. I said, like an apology for the behavior. I mean, I always offer that an apology. Ah, oh, yes, the typical apology. He wants to be the big man and get an apology from the employee for treating him so poorly. Well, dude, that's not going to happen. In fact, you're about to get the door slammed in your face again because you're being so condescending to these people. That's why they call you Josh the Jerk. Oh, by the way, fat ass. When are you going to release my video from that illegal copyright strike you have on it? I know you released a Fraud or Roundup's uh, copyright strike on that very same video that he and I did a collab, kind of a collaboration on. But hey, I don't think it really matters anyway, dumbass, considering that I've already won the uh, counterclaim and the video will be restored on the 19th of this month, so either way, you still look like an idiot. Um, yeah. Nice. Oh, thank you. Good job. Good job. An apology. If not, then I'll just do a records request for, uh, his name, salary, employment contract, then I'll lodge an official complaint for his behavior, and then... Oh my god, who the hell cares? Oh, come on now, dude. Now you're beginning to sound like a big, fat, dumbass crybaby. You think that filing a complaint is going to do anything to soothe your bruised ego because you got a door shut in your face because... You were the one acting like a complete jackass. Oh, why don't you go home and cry into your pillow, dumbass? I'll disseminate it to my audience. Okay, at this point, the wandering hippie just wanders around some more and we don't hear the rest of the conversation. But I do happen to have the other end of the conversation from Josh's point of view from whenever I did that video a couple months ago. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage and end there. I'm me. And you are? I'm me. Okay, and what, what are you looking for? An apology. 
an apology. Uh, if not, then I'll just do a records request for uh, his name, salary, employment contract, then I'll lodge an official complaint for his behavior, and then I'll disseminate it to my audience. Oh my God, who the hell cares? But I'm happy to just take an apology for the behavior, I mean, which I don't think is, you know, asking a lot, seeing that this building serves, especially in human resources, where, you know, you kind of specialize in training and coaching employees. You think that's something we can make happen? What do you we want an apology we were, from? We would said we would talk to him. He's brand new here. He's not familiar with the freedom of access. And any of the things you're talking about is an opportunity for us to teach him and ask him. Well, I mean, everyone learns about the First Amendment to the United States law. Constitution. I mean, depending on your age, it's either civics or you learn it in third grade. I mean. And all this coming from a man who probably flunked out of elementary school. And even if you managed to make it into high school, you probably weren't even paying one bit of attention in civics class. And literally, when he walks into this building, you guys have a big sign that says under 24-hour video surveillance. So I think he's probably quite aware that we're allowed to. I just think he got in his feels and decided that his wants were more important than our rights. So, I mean, he doesn't have to apologize, but... I always like to offer the opportunity before I leave because if he doesn't want to, then we do records requests and complaints. Okay. He also called the police on us, which I think is an awful waste of tax resources for people not breaking the law. But Well, thank you for letting us know. It's a personnel ma matter, and like what we said, we will talk to our employee about it. So does that mean that you're going to ask him if he'd like to apologize to us, or do you want to dig your heels in on that? I'm not going to deal with a personnel matter on a public camera. I mean, it is not public. It is public. He works for the public. Personnel matters are not public. Well, at this point, I mean, it's not an unwarranted invasion of privacy. Oh, typical bullying tactics. If you don't do what I say, I'll unleash every public record on this place. Wah, wah, wah. Grow up, dude. Which would be the only thing that would exclude it from public. So, and I think that you guys are going to probably have a headache over the next couple of days about this. That's so, a shame. I I agree with you. It's absolutely a shame. Someone behaving like that, showing such disdain for the public, and then you come literally to human resources, and that office is the office that overseas coaching, training, and development for those employees, and it seems like you could... Speak and coach and develop my employee. I mean, that's fine. You're making, a, you're making the choice for him. I offered him an opportunity to keep his job if he apologized. If you want to deal with it privately, you won't have that opportunity, and he will lose his job. No question about it. I'm willing to bet on that. I haven't lost that bet yet. <laughs> but if you want to make that decision for him, when we stop by the office on the way out, we'll let him know to enjoy his... His last day, what do you say? And who are you to determine who keeps their job and who doesn't keep their job? Who died and made you boss? You ignorant damn punk. I know it's hard for you to find a job because you're an ignorant pile of crap. But that doesn't mean you have the power to just take away somebody's job at the snap of your finger. You asinine beta male cuck. I think you've already heard what we said. Oh, yeah. Is that, is that cabinet going to move? Pardon? Oh, is it going to move if you don't stand there and hold it up? Or? Uh, no, we were actually having a meeting and you were oh. interrupted. Perfect. No, you weren't interrupted. This is, this is my office. This is the people's office. So. Outside in the hall is. Yeah, where, and where are we? You were beyond the threshold. No, we weren't. Okay. Come on, i got a backup camera. Okay. Listen, you lie like a rug. Like that, you're not in the business of lying. You're in the business of serving the public. We do serve the public. Not well. Okay. Not well. What's your name? My name's Ryan. Ryan. What do you do here? I work for the town. What do you do here? I work for the town. What do you do for the town, Ryan? I'm the assistant town manager. You're the assistant town manager? Oh, man. What are they, just handing that job out to anybody, Ryan? Oh, are you upset that you don't have a nice title like him and a good job? 
Well, maybe if you drop the pissy attitude and stop acting so superior to everybody, go out, get an education, and act like a normal human being, maybe you'll find a good job, you moron. What, you, what was that, like a, what was it, a raffle? What's your name? What's your name? My name is Jody. Um, Jody. Resources. Oh, cool. And, and what's we your name? Meeting. What's and your I'm name? Going to ask you to leave and have My a name great is Brandon. day. Brandon. <laughs> and that's why the other people get. <laughs> well, now there you have it. This beta boy cuck with a sorry ass attitude couldn't get anything done. But hell, if you walk around with an attitude like that, you're going to get door slammed in your face all the time. Get used to it, buddy.